lot of frustration this morning. And uh, I think as Senator Cassidy mentioned, it kind of reflects the frustration that Americans have with where we are. We're all tired with COVID, we're done with COVID, but as many have said, COVID is not yet done with us. But how, how we're able to make sense of, of the guidance that comes out of CDC is, is critically important. Um, Alaska was uh, very early on in making sure that the vaccine was available to, uh, to, to all very quickly. Um, and as a consequence, we were pretty proud of the fact that, that our numbers of vaccination uh, were strong and we were number one in the country. But when you start out first, you also then are the forerunner in demonstrating what it means to, to, to really see this vaccine hesitancy. And we're seeing that play out in, in, different, in different ways, in different shapes. Um, so I appreciated your comments, Dr. Walensky, to, to Senator Smith about the ways that we can um, address the concerns that have been raised, whether it is where can I get the vaccine, is it safe, um, who do I look to for guidance? The state of Alaska did a survey that re was released on Thursday that indicated that people are not looking to you all for guidance. They're not looking to to our chief medical officer in the state of Alaska, they're looking to see what their friends and their neighbors do. They don't care what, what their senator or the folks from CDC do. So we've got a lot more work to be doing um, with regards to that. I want to speak to my particular frustrations, which you have had the benefit of multiple conversations with me, and that is how we can get our, our tourist sector back to work for even a small sliver of the season. Uh, 1.3 million tourists come to the state of Alaska on a cruise ship. There were 48 tourists that came to Alaska on a cruise ship last year. And uh, right now, it doesn't look much better. We've been working back and forth with CDC trying to, to deal with these, uh, this conditional sale order. After many months of requests, we finally get to a place where we think uh, we've got some guidance out there. I just, at 11.30, um, got new information that the CDC's last tranche of guidance still requires additional guidance to be published. Now they say, yes, it's minor, but the fact of the matter is it is still yet one more gate that has to be gone through. And, and our reality is if you can't get ships turned north now, there is no season, whether it is for one week or one month. And so I guess... Dr. Walensky, I'm, I'm going to ask you one more time, can you give Alaskans any guidance at all with regards to the ability to, to, to finally get this guidance fully resolved? You've got cruise lines that are saying, we're going to require everybody be vaccinated. All of our crews will be 100% vaccinated. We will require that, that those who want to sail on our ships this summer be vaccinated. Those in the communities who are welcome, welcoming them are also equally committed to the vaccine. So should I just tell folks back home, don't even bother ramping up your, your, your seasonal operations because it's just not coming. We can't get that guidance from the CDC. First of all, Senator, let me congratulate you and Alaskans for getting vaccines into arms because you have been a role model in being able to do that. With regard to sale, um, I was here in March. We were waiting on 2A guidance. That 2A guidance of working with ports has since come. Um, we have been now engaging, as I noted, we do with schools, with our consumers, with our key stakeholders. We have had twice weekly calls now with the cruise ship industry to understand what, how they are interpreting their guidance and what they need in order to be able to get boats back in the water. That is our goal for this season. Midsummer was our goal. 2A has been released. 2B has been released. Our, our guidance on how we get conditional, um, uh, how we get uh, trial voyages into the water, as well as step three released, how you get conditional sales certificates. All three of those have been released. They have, we have been in this dialogue with the industry so that we can understand what are the challenges in the current guidance that are, being, that are hard to be met. And we are actually having these conversations and then going back and addressing those challenges. Uh, we had a dear, dear colleagues letter that went out after 2A and we have others that are, are in the works. So we are working with, with those in the industry to do our best to get ships back in the water this season, and we have actually agreed to a five-day turnaround when those proposals come to us. Well, it was, it was news to me to, again, just see that there is yet another thing that has come up just this morning, so I'd ask you to, to take a look at that.